come and go like a rah rah round. They don't want the two be going nah nah nah. I'm coming back with the money in the bag. The roof is in my lap, yeah I'm running for the cash. I come and go like a rah rah round. Putting in the word like I'm waiting. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the video. Today, as you probably saw from the title, is the day that I'm getting my COVID vaccination. I am. Um, I literally got the call yesterday evening uh, to say that I could have my appointment today. The time is now literally two minutes past five. My appointment is at 10 past five. So I've tried to get a bit early so I can record this quick intro video, but I'm speeding through it because of course I need to get into my appointment. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it guys. I'm pleased that I've been given the opportunity to have my vaccine. I didn't expect it to happen this soon. I was expecting to maybe have it by mid-February, um, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna be getting it by the end of January. So, so that's good, it's gonna put my mind at rest a bit more. For those of you that don't know, I'm a dialysis patient, so I have to do dialysis at home, which puts me in the high risk vulnerable category, which is why I'm getting my vaccination now. So yeah, stick around guys. I'm gonna try and get some footage of me inside getting the vaccination. I'm not sure if they're gonna allow me to do that, but, um, but stick around and yeah, let's see how it goes. Guys, don't forget to please like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate it, the channel's growing and I appreciate all the support. But yeah, let's get inside and uh, let's get the vaccine. Hey guys, um, back in the car now. So yeah, I've I've been in there for a little while. It's now 18 minutes past six. So it was good though. I've got a lot of information. I actually had a doctor doing my jab. Uh, there was a load of like nurses and other people doing jabs, um, but I had a doctor doing mine. Just to tell you guys a bit about how the process was when I went in there. It's all very clean and sanitary. They take your temperature when you go through the door. Um, there's masks there if you don't already have one. You have to fill in a bit of paperwork as you guys saw in the video, um, you know, just to go through a questionnaire and stuff to make sure that you haven't had COVID in the last seven days, you know, stuff like that. Um, and then basically they take you through to the to the room where you get your vaccine. And you sit in there, you get called in one by one. It's very good as well, like when somebody leaves, the, the chair gets wiped down, it's all very clean. And then, um, yeah, the doctor explained thoroughly what the vaccine was all about. So I had the Visor vaccine. Um, of course, you got the new one as well, the Oxford one or something like that. But I devise a vaccine, which is apparently just as good as the other one. Some people say the Visor one's better, but the doctor said that they've both been proven to be as effective, you know, and if there is a slight gap, it's, it's minimal. So I devise a vaccine, the vaccine that he's had as well, the doctor that did my vaccine, he's had the same one. And what I didn't know is that the vaccine doesn't completely stop you from getting COVID, like even after the second jab, because of course you gotta have two doses. But even after the second dose, you can still get COVID. But the whole point of the vaccine is that you don't get it to, in, to a, like a, a really bad state, which puts you in hospital and intensive care. So if you do get it, you get very mild symptoms. So that was quite interesting to know. Um, after the first jab, which I've now had, you know, you, of course your risk is significantly lowered but he did go through um, certain things and say that you can still get coronavirus, but just at a very mild state. And that is why it's still important to keep wearing a mask, you keep washing your hands, etc., um, to make sure you don't pass it on to anybody else. Cause for all you know, you could have mild symptoms and pass it on to somebody um, that hasn't had the vaccine yet. So, um, so yes, yeah, so that was interesting. Also guys, a slight difference between the, the, um, the visor and the Oxford vaccine. Apparently the visor vaccine is made up of enzymes. Enzymes, yep. Um, enzymes that fool the body, trick the body into thinking that you've got coronavirus. There's no virus in there, but apparently it just tricks the body in some way to thinking that you have. But the body's immune system starts kicking in because it's fooled the body to think that. And then that way, when you do get the virus, that's when the immunity occurs. I don't really, yeah. He explained it a lot better than me, of course, because he's a healthcare professional, but um, but yeah, that's basically it. And then the new vaccine, 
the Oxford one, works slightly differently in that there is a, a virus inside that vaccine. But of course, um, the doctor explained that they probably scrubbed it down and, and you know, it's, it's safe, basically, um, which then your immune system um, kicks off and, and fights back against it. I'm not sure if I explained that correctly, guys. Just to make it clear, I'm not a doctor, so don't take my you know word for that. But there's still no virus inside the Oxford one, which is going to hurt you. But it's kind of like a clean down version of it's like a fake version of the virus, if you like, which they put into your body, um, and then your immune system starts kicking in and fighting against it giving you the immunity in the long run so yeah that's basically it but of course i've had the visor one when it comes to your chance to get the, the vaccine if you do i definitely recommend you get it because at the end of the day it's just another layer of protection i'm glad i've had it guys like i said i've got to go back i think my next appointment is on the 16th of april i think 16th of april i've got an appointment for the second dose hope you like this video guys if you're still watching thank you so much i appreciate it um please post in the comments if you've had the vaccine post if you've had the visor or if you've had the new oxford vaccine let me know if you have any, any side effects um i haven't actually well i've got a bit of a sore arm um even sore because i'm holding this camera but apart from that i'm feeling fine so i definitely encourage you guys if you get the opportunity to have the vaccine go ahead and have it um yeah and don't forget guys to like share subscribe i appreciate the support 120 subscribers now channel's growing let me get there at the end of the day, these people that have got like thousands of subscribers, um, they started with zero. So if they can do it, why can't we guys? So stick with me, more content coming soon. Until next time guys, take care and I'll see you soon. Cheers. I come and go like a rah, rah, rah. They don't want the be going nah, nah, nah. I'm coming back with the money in the back.